be talking about a project which uh, started as my toy project pretty much and uh, then I got tired of uh, making unit after unit by hand so I put it now on Kickstarter and uh, see what happens. So what it is essentially it is an LED light. You might think that uh, the world has two menu of LED lights already but uh, apparently not use cases are covered yet. Oh, sorry. Give me a sec. Yeah, so uh, the use case is if you do any kind of outdoor adventures at night, you know that it's pretty dark at night. You cannot see anything. And it's not just, you know, empty black space. It is full of different objects you don't really want to bump into. And as well, you don't want anybody to bump into you. Uh, so what you do, you put your light on, right? And all your smart friends, they do the same. So now, beautiful, we have a collision avoidance problem solved, but now we have another problem. How would you find which one is yours? So you need to be able to identify your stuff in the dark somehow. And identifier, by definition, should be unique. So with RGB LED, what we can play with, we can play... Oh yeah, this is by the way how uh, uh, Skyline looks in Singapore at the anchorage there. It's really difficult to pick up any particular light and such background. So with RGB LED what we can play with? We can play with colors, we can play with uh, flash durations. So essentially we're talking about uh, multicolor strobe light. But it has to be unique. So how you figure out what is unique and what is not? You look around and see if there is something else like this and then set the light signal to something different. So it has to be programmable easily. So it all started with uh, plain good old microcontroller in days well before ESP8266. I tried different things uh, programming wise and hardware wise it was pretty easy but what I stopped at is controls. So with RGB LED you have uh, seven colors you want to play with. So it applies seven buttons and you need to turn recording on and off. Then if you add any extra features like ambient light sensor or timer, uh, buttons keep piling up and it gets unmanageable, takes lots of space. It's difficult to make it all with a proof because it is for outdoor adventure. It has to be with a proof at least. So I gave up until uh, ESP8266 emerged. So then I said, aha, now I can use mobile phone as a, a control device and implement any uh, UI I want, any complexity, anything. And also I'll get a remote control for free, which actually works from up to 100 meters outdoors. Uh, so early prototype of this was actually demonstrated in a Christmas meeting uh, more than one year ago at the disguise of a Christmas light. Uh, Hardware-wise, there's nothing really uh, special. There's ESP8266. Uh, there's a step-down voltage regulator for the ESP8266. Then there are uh, three identical LED drivers and LEDs. One uh, interesting hardware challenge I ran into is that um, since ESP8266 is essentially not a proper microcontroller but a Wi-Fi model, it doesn't really handle brownouts well. For those who doesn't know, brownout is a situation when uh, voltage it drops uh, well below nominal, but not all the way down to zero yet. So what I found was happening. Uh, since the battery is not such a, a strong power source for a big load like powerful LED, you turn the LED on, voltage drops, not enough for uh, the whole unit to be reset, but enough for the brain to stop working. So light is on. Uh, but brain is not there anymore, so light stays on until uh, battery discharges all the way. So classic lights are on, but nobody's home situation. Uh, the thing is that I already had uh, ADC, the only ADC pin used for ambient light sensor. Uh, so I had to use a dedicated uh, uh, voltage monitor I see for this. Uh, Software-wise, it, uh, it is nothing special. C code on uh, 8266, Android applications, and iPhone application will be available after crowdfunding, and uh, 
it all works via HTTP. Uh, mechanical design, well, it had to be uh, weatherproof, reasonably strong. Weatherproof implies rubber ring, which implies cylindrical shape, so it's, it is pretty much like a beer can. Uh, the prototype is 3D printed, and um, if crowdfunding will be successful, it obviously will be injection molded. And uh, now uh, we can uh, write down the network name and uh, password to connect to the scene, download the application, just search for IC the Light in Google Play Store. And with that, I finish my presentation and just pass this in around for you to play. Network name and password are there. So uh, thanks, Alex. So now we have the next speaker, Ross.